All right, welcome back to the channel. If you're just joining me for the first time, welcome. Uh, today I got the M1 Garand out of the range. Pretty nice day today compared to the last couple of trips I've made. It's been really cruddy days. The rain was pouring down. It started to get cold. One of them was in the fall, I think. And then again in the winter, it was just cold and rainy and miserable days. Today's uh, temperature's right in the 50s. It's a perfect day for shooting. Got a little bit of wind. You can see on the 25 yard marker there, the wind flags blowing around a little bit, but I'm shooting at 100. I got a target out there at 100 yards. It's not gonna, wind's not gonna affect too much what I'm doing here, so. Last year I did a video on CMP ammo in 2021. Uh, the price I paid, shipping and all that. Today that is what I'm gonna be shooting. If you're a grand owner, you know our dad's generation. Before that, the M2 ball ammo just flowed like milk and honey and it grew on trees, it seemed like, but it's not that way anymore. If you order M2 ball ammo from the CMP, the same source that you would order a Garand, unless you bought it off of an individual, if you bought it and had it put in your name, you would buy it from the CMP. Same for this ammo. This is the, the ball round that they offer now. It's 30 out six Springfield, 150 grain. It's pretty standard stuff, 50 rounds each. Oddly enough, they ship it pointed up. I don't know why. Probably to save money on this styrofoam or something. Maybe one of you all out there have a comment. Maybe this uh, styrofoam tray doubles for 45 or whatever round would be the the case would be the same diameter as the 30-06. But anyway, it's actually put on Hornady brass. And I don't know if Creedmoor and Hornady are in cahoots with each other for this contract with the CMP or what, but that's what it is. And so 150 grain bullet over however much powder, I don't know. Somebody out there can probably correct me on that. I'm not an expert. I don't even reload myself. That's why I bought this stuff. Let's put a few rounds down range and see how accurate this stuff actually is. I had just wrapped up my video on the Schuster adjustable gas plug. So for these lighter loads, I had to make some adjustments so that the rifle would cycle the rounds properly. The adjustable gas plug accounts for the additional pressure that commercial 30-06 ammo places on the internals of the Garand. It allows excess gas to escape when firing commercial ammo, so I had to retighten it to allow the rifle to shoot the lighter ball rounds. I'm firing in volleys of three rounds, even though I'm not zeroing, just to give some control and consistency so I don't go blasting away at the target. In this sequence, I tried to load a full eight round clip into the grand, and it looked cool on camera, but I think it threw my accuracy for the purposes of this test off just a little bit since I was standing. If I ever do come across some authentic M2 ball ammo, I certainly will do a, an accuracy comparison. I would not trust ammo found at a gun show. Uh, it would really have to be a trusted individual that I would get this ammo from. If you've ever checked out the channel Kentucky Ballistics, um, you'd know that he has he shot a 50 cal ammo in his 50 BMG and it actually blew up on him. So you have to be really careful about your sources and types that you use. So the ammo worked well, only one round didn't eject. I don't consider that a failure. I have a lot of experience in military weapons and that's gonna happen sometimes. Recoil isn't bad comparing it to commercial hunting 30-06 ammo which packs a greater punch. All the rounds generally fell in the kill zone at 100 yards even though it was a little off to the right here. I only shoot my grand a couple of times a year so for the next CMP M2 ball ammo video I will work on the zero and side adjustment. Thanks for watching, thanks for coming by, and I'll see you in the next one.
Podcast.